what is going on guys i'm back with kind of a review it's going to be basically my first week uh experience with the puffco so we're going to be going over that today uh i'm going to go ahead and walk you through my dab process with it so i've got some skittles from teal right here this was unofficially part of the giveaway uh, they said they didn't advertise this as part of the giveaway, but they were going to include at least, a, you know, a gram of concentrate uh, with whoever won it. Obviously, I still had to pay for it. paid like a penny or whatever. That's fine. They have to. Um, so, actually, you... Is that hair stuck to it? There we go. Okay, so I've got a nice little... Nice little dab of the Skittles here. I'm going to just pop that top off right here put this down in there give it I like to pulse the heat so it doesn't get too too hot and that should yep it got all of it off of there down into the bowl perfect okay so after that you just pop that cap this uh, carb cap with a joystick pop that back on you select through your heat settings by clicking one time click once and I'm on my basic heat setting the one that I was using before it's 475 we're gonna hit this at 500 today so just hit it one more time bump it up to my second heat setting which is 500 uh, and then you're ready to go just double click and it'll heat up so here we go and it vibrates it'll vibrate twice after you double click and then once uh, it is ready. It will vibrate twice. One more time. And it's ready. So here we go. Cheers. And this will be good for two heat cycles <coughs> through here, um, which is how I've been taking, <coughs> excuse me, which is how I've been taking my dabs. Uh, I like the 20, 25 second uh, heat cycle, and then I do another one. I like that 20 to 25 second range because I can do it, do the whole full seat, whole goodness. Do the full heat cycle uh, in one breath, which I really like. I like getting that nice big uh, breath of it. So let that cool off for a moment. I'm going to take a sip of my water and then we'll go in for round two. All right. I gave it, you know, a minute, minute and a half, whatever. Ooh. I just like to wait until it's cooled down at least below like 200. I think their rule is below 100, which I have been kind of sticking to for the most part. But I find that after 200, I don't think it, if it's lower than 200, I don't think there's going to be a significant issue there. You just want to make sure you give it plenty of time to cool so you're not damaging any of the components or burning the dab to the bowl on the inside. Obviously, the lower temp uh, you use the less likely that is to happen but it just kind of depends if the if you're using like a fresh press or something and there's still a little bit of plant matter that reheat could slowly bake that plant matter onto um, the inside of the the bowl or the bucket whatever you want to call it anyways uh, let's go in for another one so you can without clicking once to select a heat temp it will stick with whatever your last heat setting was so you can then just double click and it starts heating up real nice honestly i really enjoy this um it's a really really useful little tool and this should be there it is double buzz here we go
there you have it. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways. So it's great. Tastes wonderful. This, this concentrate tastes, especially out of this, just like Skittles. Like it literally tastes like Skittles. It is the, it's so bizarre, but I, I love it so much. It's such a nice flavor profile. Um, but I'll go ahead and walk you guys through my cleaning process now. I pretty much go by the book uh, with the cleaning stuff. Um, I just change up a couple of small things. Let it cool while I'm sitting here uh, rambling. Uh, I like to go in with a dry Q-tip first. Real quick, actually. Before that, even. I pick these up. These Blazy Susan, what do they call them? Cotton Buds? They are naturally dyed pink. They use a natural dye, so it's not like, whatever, red, something or other. Um, I, but it doesn't say what. It just says natural, oh, it's natural food safe dye. So I don't, that could be like, maybe they use beets. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but it's a hundred of them. This is my issue with it. There's a hundred of them and it's $5 and some change. And that just seems a little, little bit much. Um, they are like a little bit bigger and they are designed for this purpose. You can see there, it's like pointed on one end and you get the glob, just bud, like round, rounded edge on the other side. Um, just if it was just just even a little bit cheaper like if it was four dollars or 350 or something i you wouldn't hear, hear a complaint from me i'd be like that's great this is awesome but i can get like 600 q-tips from target or whatever that may not be you know specifically designed for this but that costs like three dollars and you get like like i said like 600 of them so i don't know it just it's a gimmick like they're able to charge an outrageous price because it's a gimmick so oh well i'll probably keep buying them because they are like the shape of them is really nice like it is useful to have that but six times more useful nah not really not really at all so i like to go and dry on the first run i find that it helps soak up the um leftover reclaim in there and then i like to go in with the um alcohol swap so let's soak up as much of this as i can in the first one here got that good you can see soaked it all up on that end and then got the remnants on this one so done with that and then we can stick this one down in the alcohol now that that is wet I do like to use the uh, pointy side when I do the alcohol swab because I only do one swab with the alcohol and then I use the other end of this one to dry because I typically find that I only really need uh one alcohol swab if i soak up the uh reclaim first so maybe try that out if you haven't i think it works quite well considering i'm like shoot i didn't check my actual number before i started doing this uh i'm like a hundred or so something uh heat cycles in which puts me at 50 something or so dabs in between uh, last Friday and now. Okay, that's looking nice and clean. So I'm gonna go in for the dry.
Yeah, looks perfect. I'll see if I can show you guys. This will be the wear and tear from the first week. As you can see, it is spotless. And I mean, I better keep this thing clean. Replacing it's like fucking ninety dollars or some shit. I could upgrade to the to the even bigger one if I spend like a hundred and twenty or something. So I don't know. When the day comes, I'll probably consider getting the XL just because if I'm gonna be spending that much money, I may as well get the big bad one. Um, and they'll be we'll be rocking an XL on here. And take some big fat dabs so anyways that's the cleaning process for you so um <clears throat> so yeah as you can see it's really smooth there are a couple of things like the vapor production even in the heightened setting seems kind of not Im very impressive um, now I will say the hottest temp that I've been using is 500. I actually did use the 510 setting before I got the app to work right because the app sucks. I'll say that now the app is shitty. Um, but I understand they're doing it the way that they're doing it to get around issues with Apple in the App Store. Um, so I, I think I understand the reasoning for what they're doing using just a browser for the app but it's just not good like it crashes um <clears throat> i was never actually able to add my own heat settings i had to delete and reinstall a few times and then like log out log back in and it eventually allowed me to edit the heat settings that were already there but still to this day, I can't add my own heat settings. So that seems weird. Uh, like I can't add more, which I don't. I wouldn't really need to add more. I think I'm pretty set, pretty happy with the settings I've chosen. But it just seems weird that it just won't allow that. That's besides the point anyways. That's just technology being technology. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Um... I do have the four heat settings though. I have the 475 for 25 seconds. I have 500 for 20, I believe. 525 for uh, another 20 seconds. And then I have um, 575 for 25 seconds, I think. That's meant for like big dabs just to uh, just nuke something, you know? Uh, and I don't know if I'll ever use that. It's just there because I could edit it, you know? <laughs> so, uh, I guess that's what I have to say about the app. Uh, the Once you get it to work right, it, it's really cool. You can do a lot of really interesting things. Like, not only can you change the heat settings, you can adapt how much vapor you get. You can change the lighting completely. You can do your own, like, light design. You can choose from presets that they have. Um, there's even settings where you can change like the bell curve of the heat cycle for the dab like you can edit it so it like peaks immediately and then slowly goes down or maybe you want it to start low and creep up and then drop off or there's a lot of stuff that you can change and do that I just haven't I haven't personally gotten into yet in the first week I've been you know just enjoying it perfectly fine how it is I will obviously eventually get into the editing that kind of stuff just because I think it's interesting and I, I want to look into it at some point. Um, but that is not something that I've gotten into with this. I'm getting a phone call. They're just going to have to wait. Um, anyways, hopefully that doesn't affect the recording. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, they stopped. All right, so back to this. Um, yeah, so the app is really cool. You can change and do a lot of interesting things. You can you can name the device. You can 
name the heat settings, which I have my named all silly shit. Um, let's see, what is it? It's uh, <laughs> the first one is the philosopher. The second one is the mediator. The third one is the conqueror, and the fourth one is the fool. Cause the fir I mean, <laughs> kind of makes sense. Uh, so that's what I went with. Oh, and I named the uh, Puffco the Puffinator, because uh, I thought that was funny. So, yeah, I think that covers all the information I wanted to talk about with the app. It's it's overall, like I said, once it starts working correctly, it is very cool. But there are some issues with the functionality of it just doing what it's supposed to. <laughs> so, there's that. But the device itself is amazing. Um, now, I will say, if you are someone who prefers really dense clouds, you're probably going to have to boost the vapor production all the way up and probably hit this thing at like 525 or 550 or so to really get that strong production uh, and probably take some pretty big dabs as well. Um, but taking like a 0 0.05 gram dab to maybe a 0.1 gram dab, it's not gonna produce really dense, thick vapor. Um, at least I haven't gotten it to. Uh, as you can tell at 500, it puts out a, it's it's all right. Um, I might try the 525 setting with this, uh, with the Skittles particularly, because the rest of the stuff that I have for the most part is rosin. And I just don't wanna roast that at, you know, over 500 degrees, I like, keeping rosin under 500 um but yeah i might try that with this and see if the vapor production goes up at all it's <coughs> because i know that is uh important to a lot of people so yeah that's that i think overall really happy with my experience um I'm not someone who necessarily needs like really heavy vapor production to be uh, content with the quality of the the dab. Uh, obviously, I hit really low temp dabs on the on the courts, so pretty used to uh, you know getting thin wispy vapor production. So that's that. There's my my one week with the uh, Puffco Peak Pro. It is a very solid device. Now, obviously, like, I didn't pay $420 for it, so maybe my opinion is biased. And I, I don't have experience with a lot of devices that are like this on the market. Um, so I have a hard time saying it's worth paying the, the $420 price tag, especially knowing that there are other devices that are very, very similar to this. That you can get for like three hundred dollars or two fifty, um, roughly. Obviously, I'm not sure what exactly those price ranges are, but it's a lot lower uh, than this. So there's that. But I'm sure there are other issues with those devices that I am unaware of as well. So it's kind of it just depends on what's important to you. Um, I just, I overall really, really like the quality of this, uh, the design of it. It works really nicely. Um, there are some people who don't like the design of the vapor going through the device because the, the way it works is it pulls the, the, the vapor through a little hole that goes through here and into the glass up like that. So it's doing like a little loop here. And um, people are concerned that that would leave like residue and stuff behind on the inside of the device and make it really difficult to clean and eventually be prone to breaking down in some way that another device might not uh, with an external uh, banger or whatever. So there are small things like that here and there that people, you know, bicker about a little bit. Um, Unless you're taking really sloppy dabs, I don't think that's going to be a big issue. Um, like within a week, uh, going through, like I said, 50 to 60 dabs or so, 
Um, I just... I don't see that happening in any short amount of time. You know, it that feels like something that would cause issues years down the line. Um, so it's not really that big of a concern. Like, I'm probably not going to be using this rig in five years, ten years, you know? I'm probably by then going to have moved on to something else. Uh, so I just don't... I just don't think that's going to be a huge concern. Um, like, in the week that I've had it, I just cleaned this top class, and there was not even anything in there other than just, like, water residue on the sides of the glass that I just shook around some alcohol and dumped out. Like, it's... I don't know. Like I said, unless you're taking big sloppy dabs, I, I don't think you're going to experience that issue. So, feels like a... Not a big concern to me. So, yeah. I think that is all I wanted to cover with this stuff. Um, so, yeah, overall, really, really happy with this. I would recommend checking them out. If you have a friend that has one, use theirs before you make the decision to spend f so much money on it. Um, and if you have several friends that have several different devices, maybe, you know, try out their stuff. See which one you actually like more because you may be able to save a little bit of money. Uh, and I am, I am always like very aware of that when even I win things, you know, I'm like, okay, this is still a $420 thing. I can't, can't be going telling people to go and buy this uh, without bringing up the fact that it is, it costs so much money. So <laughs> just know that. And know that there are other devices that accomplish a similar goal, or the same goal even, uh, for significantly less money that you can probably look into to see uh, if they work for you. Uh, but like I said, all of these devices, no matter what price range it's in, it's going to have issues like they all do. They all have little small things that aren't perfect, but it's just the nature of this stuff. Like, I've never had... Uh, like a, a piece of dabbing or vaporizing technology that was literally perfect like that just doesn't exist it just doesn't like there's always going to be one little thing that's off so uh yeah i guess that's all i have to cover with this stuff uh thank you for joining me if you did enjoy this please do drop me a like i would greatly appreciate that and if you have anything to say anything to comment on please let me know what you have to say uh, if you have anything to say about the Puffco, your experience with it, I would love to know your own experience with this thing. Because uh, I really enjoy mine, but I am always open to hear, you know, what people have to say about it, even if it's like a negative thing. If you're not happy about some aspect of it, uh, feel free to let me know. And yeah, I guess if you're watching and you're new at this, I, wow, I just fucked that all up. If you're new and watching to this point, uh, I'm assuming you really enjoy this kind of content. You might like some of the other stuff I do. I post typically it's reviews of concentrates or flour um, going up one to two times a week. Uh, this week there was only one uh, product review I reviewed from flour on Monday. But um, I decided to throw this up as a little one week uh, kind of review of it. Um, just to keep honestly just to keep the content flowing so <laughs> uh, but i thought people might want to know what i think about it so anyways that's that uh yeah but yeah please feel free to subscribe uh i would love to have you around and see you in the next one which i'll be going over um i think i'm gonna go wow my hair's been looking wild this whole time huh uh <laughs> I think I'm going to go over the... I feel like I, could, I should go over the Grizzle Drizzle from Head Change on Monday, and then we'll do the Durban Reserve from Vibe on Wednesday. So that'll be the plan. I don't suspect I'll change it, but that'll be that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.